Hey everyone, how's it going today? Welcome back to a fourth stimulus check unemployment benefits extension update. So we actually have relatively great and breaking news to share and the idea is that President Joe Biden in just a surprising turn of events has actually now officially agreed and approved of the bipartisan's version of the fourth stimulus package slash infrastructure bill. Now this does not mean that it's approved in its entirety. I think that's really, really important to notice because as most of you guys probably know, but if not, a huge refresher is, is that to get any bill passed, basically since the first stimulus package, it has to essentially go through the House, then it has to go through the Senate, and then it has to go onto the President's desk and get signed. Thankfully, the order that it has to go through actually really doesn't matter. It just has to go through the three places. So the really, really great news is, is that President Biden, who is probably considered certainly one of, if not the most important person when it comes to just the world of politics in America has now actually surprisingly approved and agreed and I'm pretty sure he's already signed off to the brand new bipartisan deal. Now with that being said is, is that it still does have to go through the House. It still does have to go through the Senate. That's the reason why it's not in its complete approval. However, the really, really great news is, is that the fact that this bill was technically created by a bipartisan group of people as according to plan is, which basically just means is that there are people that wrote up this bill on both parties, the Republicans and the Democrats. And actually, it's even more true is, is because some of the hardest people to please that we were the most hesitant about or just not confident about whether or not they were going to agree to it are in this group of 10 bipartisan uh, politicians. For example, one of them happens to be Joe Manchin. And as you guys probably know is that he's probably the most difficult to please Democrat. Uh, but thankfully he is still a Democrat. And why this is important again, leaving politics aside is is because most of these proposals or agreements happen to be from the Democratic side. And just by having him there, that's the reason why budget reconciliation was even possible. Because keep in mind is that they need to have 50 Democrats. It doesn't matter what, what those Democrats view. Of course, ideally you know, if they're at least able to be on the same page. But just by having 50 50 Democrats inside of the Senate, it means that it's possible to do budget reconciliation. And the fact that Joe Manchin is now inside of that group and has actually put together that package, it is not likely that he's going to not approve it, considering the fact that he was part of the negotiating team that actually wrote the package, or it doesn't really you know, make sense if you're the creator why you would not approve of something that you created and you kind of put on the table. So the really great news is, is that what is going on is, is that today I really just want to talk about what's going on with the fourth stimulus package. There is a new update about unemployment, however, about how unemployment uh, might potentially impact this, and basically also about all of the stimulus programs, and then of course the stimulus checks. So we're going to run through all of them and really, really dive into details, but as always, maybe before we begin, remember to smash the like button, because I think it's pretty great news after all. Um, feel free to comment any questions, thoughts about honestly just really anything, and also consider subscribing for similar videos like this and other finance topics. And huge thanks if you guys have been here for a while. Um, it's always really, really greatly appreciated. So with that being said, let's get this video started right on the spot. So when it comes to the fourth stimulus package slash infrastructure bill, the current proposal that the bipartisan have put together is going to be priced at $1.2 trillion. So this is actually a pretty big step from the original um, infrastructure slash fourth stimulus package that was first put on the table, which if you guys need a huge refresher, I believe it was priced at about 2.25, uh, so 2.25 trillion uh, dollars. So we basically went from that until basically now about 1.2 trillion dollars. They're hoping to try to create programs that will hopefully sustain over the next about eight years. And I think that's the typical by a uh, time frame that they're really shooting for right now. Um, as just mentioned is, is that it was written by 10 members in a bipartisan group, so people from both parties, and then of course just approved by Biden with Joe Manchin and certain people that are normally hard to please part of this negotiating team, so hopefully they're able to get what they want um, as well. Now within this package, um, this should pretty much highlight what's actually physically inside of the package. Essentially there's about, you know, you can go 
glance at this if you want the actual specific breakdown and details. But essentially, when it comes to the infrastructure side of it, they're dedicating $312 billion for transportation and then $266 billion for just other kinds of infrastructure plan. So I believe is that the infrastructure side, even though they kind of call it an infrastructure bill, the actual infrastructure side is going to cost about $578 to $579 billion. Now, I think the biggest thing to maybe observe is the fact that the infrastructure side rounded is pretty much going to cost about $600 billion, but the entire proposal happens to be $1.2 trillion. So technically, the actual infrastructure side really only takes up about half, barely even half, um, of the entire plan. So you might be wondering about what they're going to be doing with the other $600 billion. And at this time, I believe is, is that they haven't fully released details about that side, because keep in mind, everything is basically just a draft that they're currently working on. So they do have the framework, they do have the outline. I believe though is, is that they're going to be using the other $600 billion to kind of scatter around a whole bunch of other different programs that they haven't released. Um, I believe that they want this bill to be focused on specifically infrastructure and different policies. However, it would not be a surprise that maybe, you know, as part of this, they maybe try to create other kinds of programs, like maybe um, they try to maybe insert like the child tax credit, maybe stimulus checks, maybe for small businesses, maybe SNAP benefits. The, the idea basically is that they may be trying to do something that will hopefully try to put money inside of our pockets, even if it's through a very, very targeted way, which we're going to talk about in just a little bit. But the idea is that the first half of the bill is pretty much going to be dedicated to all sorts of things related to infrastructure. Examples, specific examples would pretty much be like roads, highways, construction, buildings, um, public areas, you can put that, energy, the environment, all sorts of different resources. And it's also in a way going to impact us, not just because of our lifestyle, because if you happen to drive or just happen to just be outside interacting with the world, which is what they're going to use to um, be able to pay for all of this stuff. But even for things like jobs, if you happen to work in construction, if you happen to work in this specific, the infrastructure industry, um, it did also bounce the stock market up over the last couple of days. So if you are someone that follows the stock market, then this is part of the reason for the price action of what happened over the last couple of days of the stock market. Now, when it comes to the unemployment and also about how they physically plan to pay for this package, this is the part that's going to be a little bit of a rough or just let's just say mixed news depending on how you view it. But the idea right now, I believe, is, is that the great news is, is that they're hoping to not increase taxes, at least for the ordinary, most average, you know, middle class, just basically for for us, that's the idea is, is that they are not planning to raise taxes at this time, which is the really, really great news is. However, they may be trying to increase taxes in other areas, specifically for things like large corporations. But of course, that stuff is still tentative and kind of set to change. But at least on the tax side, the great news is, is that we will not be impacted, at least not directly at this current time. However, when it comes to being able to pay for the actual uh, fourth stimulus package, the only thing about it is that because they're not going to be raising taxes among us, they have to find other resources to be able to fund it. And I believe is that this should pretty much highlight how they're going to be doing it. But one of the biggest things that you maybe will observe is, is that they're going to be changing things to their tax policy. So not necessarily in increasing taxes, but just things related to their policy. They're going to be taking money that came from the original three stimulus packages. They're going to be taking money from donations, from investors. And then this is the part that maybe will be more difficult depending on how you view it. But the idea is that they're also going to be taking some of the money that they're now about to save from ending the unemployment program in several states and now taking that money to pay for the fourth stimulus package. So I know that there were a lot of people that were kind of wondering about the fact that they're taking so many people's unemployment away. What are they going to actually physically do with that money? And the answer to that question is that there's several things that they're going to be doing with the unemployment money that they are not now giving out, whether this is because of the state that's ending the program, or also interestingly because of a lot of other cases like fraud, delays, there's a lot of things that have been going on with unemployment. Um, but what's going on is, is that the money that they're going to be saving or that they're sadly not going to be paying out, they're pretty much just going to take it back 
Um, some of it is going to be going out to different like state programs. Some of it will be going to other federal programs. But then a huge part of it now is that they're thinking about using it to fund this this stimulus package. So in other words, that money that we were not that some of us you know may not be able to receive now from the unemployment ending early. Um, they're going to be using that now potentially to help fund and support this fourth stimulus package. So there's a little bit of a mixed view about what's been going on here. Maybe feel free to comment if you have any personal thoughts about this, whether you maybe like it, maybe you think they should do something else with it, or maybe it's better because at least they're using it for something that will benefit, hopefully try to benefit the general public people and society and basically the country as a whole. So there's really a mixed view about that right now. But when it comes to the world of the fourth stimulus checks, the great news is at this time is, is that they're still very, very much on the table. It's sadly not included inside of this, this specific bipartisan fourth stimulus package. However, there are a lot of talks right now, as we kind of mentioned about the other $600 trillion, uh, $600 billion. I wish it was $600, although that, that would really add on to the inflation. So that's probably a good thing that they're not doing $600 trillion. Um, but the idea really going back, what's going on is, is that it's looking very, very likely that may, they may be trying to include specific targeted stimulus programs inside of this package. So for example, increasing the child tax credit, maybe money for small businesses, SNAP benefits, food stamps, Medicaid, Medicare, basically other kinds of programs that maybe will add money into our pockets. However, there is also a lot of standalone proposals right now, or just standalone ideas about trying to insert stimulus checks, whether this is something from a 1,000 check to a 2,000 check. There are also actually a lot of states, I believe New Jersey recently just released info, that they may be trying to do their own state stimulus check for about $500. But the idea with stimulus checks is, is that a lot of people believe that now that they are sadly stripping away the unemployment program for so many, that they maybe will be able to try to insert stimulus checks at the very last minute, even if it has to come on a very targeted level like through for families or childcare, or if it has to come through just on a very specific state level. But of course, that's stuff that's still a little bit too early to call that we're still waiting, you know, for more information. But the great news is that at least it's still on the table. But essentially, that's what I pretty much just wanted to share in today's update. So maybe consider smashing the like button if you guys haven't done so. Um, or if you guys hopefully found something insightful about that, consider subscribing and hitting the bell as we get hopefully more information to come out. I'll put other videos at the end. Um, and and also feel free as always to comment any questions, personal thoughts about honestly just really anything at all, maybe predictions. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well, and I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much again.